I'm Julia Zabo, also known as Pet Reporter, and I am the Living with Dogs columnist for Dogster.com. I've actually written six books, and I'm hard at work on my next one. It will be about dogs. That's as much as I can say right now. <laughs> I love dogs, and I think nobody's life is complete without one. So I'm here to tell you about a variety of different dog breeds that might suit your lifestyle. I hope you'll adopt one soon. The Shih Tzu is a beautiful little dog. Uh, he's actually one of the most ancient breeds in China and he was bred to resemble the little lions or big lions in Asian art. So he looks like a little lion. A lot of little dogs are basically bred to be companions. They don't have a job per se other than to keep your lap warm and to cuddle you and to give kisses and receive kisses from you. So the Shih Tzu is a perfect example of this. And he has the little pushed in face and the big eyes and there's something so compellingly adorable about this creature that it just makes you want to do nice things for him or her. And it's interesting because there are two entrepreneurs in America who both have Shih Tzus and both did nice things for them. One is a dentist here in New York. Her name is Dr. Jennifer Jablo. And she's huge into dog rescue and animals in general. And her two little Shih Tzus inspired her to create a dental pen to keep their teeth white and clean because Shih Tzus, like a lot of small breeds, have problems with dental disease. They're very prone to dental disease because of the way their mouths are so small and so pushed in. So um, here she created this thing called Pawfect Smile. And then on the West Coast, there's another entrepreneur who has a Shih Tzu who literally almost died from dental disease. And so she was motivated to create another dental product called Healthy Mouth. I guess what's interesting about Shih Tzus is that they inspire their owners to do great things. So I guess you could call the Shih Tzu a career coach. It's funny, they are also known as the chrysanthemum dog, but I think career coach is more accurate.